safe to say the weather has turned a bit. Storm Janos. That's where we are, or the eye of the storm, right there. Didn't expect a full on hurricane. Sunshine after the rain. We're Craig and Kirsty, a British couple who got married on a beach in 2018. And instead of a honeymoon, we decided to travel the world together. And so we created Tide Knot Travelers. We left our home and jobs behind us and boarded a one-way flight. But the global pandemic caused us to rethink our travel plans. So we spent six months exploring Estonia. Now we're finally continuing our travels, taking a new route and exploring some of the Greek islands. Between us, we have visited 52 countries and we'd love you to join us as we continue our travels and explore the world. storm is getting pretty intense now. It's nice and wet out there. No more planes coming and going. That's for sure. It's a Thursday night and it's our second night here in Kefalonia, having arrived late yesterday. And safe to say the weather has turned a bit. We've got storm Janos. It's definitely uh, pretty stormy. So we are here, just in this corner of Kefalonia. If I just put a marker there, you can see the center of the storm or the eye of the storm right there. And if I zoom out, you can see how localized it is because even the other side of the Greek mainland in the Aegean Sea, all is very calm, but it's just crazy that we are pretty much right by the eye of the storm. Really glad we left the Baltics and Scandinavia and headed over to Greece. Six months we in thought... Estonia and we never had a storm this bad. <laughs> what, what is our luck? What is this? But it is meant to be a short-lived storm and then we're meant to have nice weather again. Did you hear that? <laughs> what a day. It's been, been pretty crazy. Can you see our front door here? The lights just flickered then. I don't know if you could see that. Oh yeah, we had a power cut this morning, trying to get our video together and obviously we had nothing. We had no Wi-Fi, we had no nothing to charge our laptops up with. We've put this towel down here, I don't know if you can see, but there's quite a bit of water coming in. And um, this storm was meant to carry on into tomorrow, so we're hoping that we can keep the place for the, the bathroom as well is, is not, not so good. I don't know where the lights are. Anyway, the bathroom floor is a bit of a puddle slush swimming pool. Great timing to get to Kefalonia. <laughs> So the power went out about an hour ago and it's been extremely windy. We've had a bit of a leak inside our apartment. Like I said, no power. So all the electrics have gone out and the lights have gone out. And what's quite eerie is that after hours and hours of battering wind, it's all gone completely silent outside. Pole fell down earlier. I think that was making a noise. Might be able to see the airport lights on. Obviously, they're going to have generators, but everything else is completely pitch black. Really wet underfoot. Like I said, I think this is the middle of the storm or the eye of the storm, so that's why it's calm. Um, but 
I'm going to get back inside. <laughs> Kirsty and I managed to get to sleep, I think, about 4.30 last night. So there was a lot of strong wind and then eventually it completely died down. It seemed like we were in the center of the storm or the eye of the storm because everything was calm. We woke up maybe about 20 past seven in the morning and I mean, the wind has just picked up crazily. It sounds like the roof is rattling, but just check this out. It's pretty windy out there. Yesterday, the wind was coming in this direction. So it was hitting the bathroom window and going that way. This morning, it's hitting this window and going that way. Out of our bathroom window, it just looks pretty apocalyptic out there. Wow. I saw on the weather report before coming here that there was supposed to be a day or two of rain and thunder and lightning. Didn't expect a full on hurricane. This is crazy. I mean, I'm thankful that we were in the eye of the storm so that I didn't want to fall asleep. <laughs> but that's three hours later, so we woke up. I mean, it's impossible. It's like the roof is just going to rip off. We're so exposed to it. Certainly, when we woke up, it very, very quickly got very, very powerful and very loud. It's still very powerful now. I mean, the roof tiles when I we woke up. I here. I was just praying that. A, the roof tiles stayed on, and B, the roof stayed on. I have to see those roof tiles still on. Is that a cat? Yeah. Is that a cat? I think it's the chicken. Oh, stay we, we've heard a rooster cool. outside here during the night making noise, yeah. and it just sounded like he made a noise. But yeah, this is absolutely crazy. I mean, we probably shouldn't have this window open, but at least it's on the downwind side of Even the building. Even being in this room is much calmer than being in there. It's horrible. Look at this. I think the power went down at about 3 a.m. and we haven't had power or light ever since. Yeah, also we've rented a hire car, um, which was supposed to go and pick up at 10 a.m. There's, there's absolutely no way we're leaving this room if it continues to be like this. We've got no power, so we can't message anyone. I can't imagine the hire car people will be there. because there was water all down there. I had to move the table that was there into the middle of the room. It's there. coming through all of these cracks. Oh yeah, that was dripping Everywhere. straight onto our table. Yeah, which running down here. Water on top of the TV, plug sockets. Our phones, everything were wet. Into this adapter and that was on the floor in a puddle. Now 9.30 in the morning and it's still not showing any signs of stopping anytime soon either.
as the wind blew one of the shutters loose, we had to pull them shut. Craig had to lean right out the window, battle with the wind to pull the shutters in. And we're having to kind of edge the table further and further away. Yeah, because the wind's blowing here. from this side of the building, it's blowing up underneath the roof tiles and coming through here. Just received a phone call from our host Dimitri. He was checking to see if everything is okay and if we've got power. He lives here and he said he's never known anything like it. Trees are down and they're without power as well. He also very kindly offered to pick up some food for us. When it's safe to do so, he, he also mentioned about moving us. Our current situation is we've got all these towels all over the floor because the water is running down here and dripping down. This is absolutely sodden. This is a puddle here and round the back there we've got electric so I'm not going to get too close but on that back wall there and up in that back corner water is just pouring through and it's running down that back wall and onto the floor there. Quite fortunate that the power's out actually. Our electronics in the wardrobe here which I keep checking to make sure it's all okay and wardrobe seems to be okay so far. It is now nearly 11am. I've been awake since pretty much 7am. The storm isn't calming down whatsoever. It's had like broken sleep. It's now 11am and I'm like, what? It's the middle of the night, what's going on? Let me just show you out the other side. As you can see, Catalonia is still taking an absolute battering. Look out the front. This is just absolutely insane. This just about sums up 2020 for you. We've got no air conditioning, it's hot and stuffy in here. We can't cook and so we finished our video last night and we need to upload it. We usually post at 7.30 on a Friday night. So this is our most challenging upload yet because we have absolutely no power. Something happens every week to stop us. Trying to use my power bank to make sure the MacBook stays charged. We're using the hotspot from my phone to connect to internet and we've got the video on the passport drive. So hopefully we can get this loaded. We're trying really hard. We are really trying. Let's let's hope. <laughs> so the good news is it's actually managing to slowly upload. It's on 27% we've been going, we've been trying for about half an hour. Got an hour and 40 minutes left. Oh yeah and that's it. The power bank is actually not keeping the laptop charged but it is at least slowing the rate of battery loss. So you know it's all helping, just as long as it can keep it going for long enough for us to load this video. Oh, it's gone up to 28% now. Oh, getting there. Um, and we're using the 4G data on Craig's phone, which we had to top up with credit this morning so that we could use it because we've still got no power here. So yeah, this is our video of us in sunnier times when we were wandering around Kudasare in uh, Estonia, carefree and not wor worrying about the internet. I'm not worrying about storms. <laughs> the bad news is, as Storm Ionis is not giving us any respite, we're running out of towels to stop the flooding. So the smaller towels that we did have down here earlier, Craig is now wringing out in the bathroom because <laughs> every towel This is a slightly drier is towel. Absolutely This safe. is a very stinky towel. We can't shower because not only do we not have power, we have no running water anymore. Don't know what that's all about. But it's okay, because once the video is uploaded, I'm going to use Storm Ionis <laughs> to my benefit. He thinks he's going to go out there and take and a shower. And I'm going to go outside and have a shower and wash my hair. I'm scared for his safety, but he says he's going to crouch down. I'm just going to stay a greasy mess. I know, my luck, if I go out there and attempt to wash my hair, I'll fill it with shampoo, the sun will come out and the water still won't come on here, so no. Yeah, Friday the 18th of September is definitely our toughest video to upload to YouTube to date. And that's not a challenge 2020, don't make it any harder, because each week it seems to get harder. Please, no more, no more, we've had our fair share. We all have, the whole world's had their fair share. Leave us alone now. Thank you. 
So right, I'm just gonna pop down the shop so that we don't have to have cereal for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, okay? I'll see you in a bit, I'll be back soon. Cool, you do that. Oh yeah, 2020 happened. Yeah, maybe not. Cereal it is then. <laughs> Genuinely, we've got nothing else left. All we've got is some cereal and some bread, but we've got nothing to put in the bread and we've got no power, no water. I mean, we've got stuff we could cook, but nope, nope, can't have any of that. Just another bowl of cereal for us. Day number two of being locked down for a different reason this year <laughs> to this the month. pandemic. This whole new 2020 lockdown for us is the stormy variety. No end in sight at the moment and I found a new puddle down here. It's obviously leaking out of the roof here and going down that wall. Amazing that that didn't happen sooner, really. Look at the mess it's done to these trees in the garden. The wind and the rain literally has not relented for over 24 hours now. Crazy. Our host Dimitri just um, arrived and basically came up with a solution for tonight. So he's got a place in Argostoli, which is the main town. We are going to pack up our stuff. He's going to take us to this flat in Argostoli now because apparently it has power, Wi Fi, there's amenities in Argostoli. We can go to shops and things like that. And it doesn't sound like it's leaking there, which <laughs> straight away, power, Wi Fi, and dreamy. yeah, not leaking is three big things for us. Yeah. Um, so, speaking to Demetrius as well, he said this is the first time he's ever experienced anything like this. And they're calling it a Medicaine? They're calling it a Medicaine. It's a hybrid of Mediterranean and Hurricane. hurricane. But anyway, we need to pack up um, and move on to the next place because Demetrius is waiting for us. So yeah, let's go and brave this medicaid. You ready, wifey? I'm ready to take a shower. Yeah, let's <laughs> do this. I'll come back for you. Like this, eh? Everywhere. <laughs> These floors are so slippy. Be really careful on this floor. Unbelievable. The pandemic wasn't enough, you had to have a Medicaid as well. <laughs> yeah. Is everyone on the island in disbelief? Oh, yes. yes. Uh, everyone can't yes. believe it. It's the first time to have something like this. Right, the first time, yes. Wow. Thank you so much for your help. Yeah, thank really you. Really appreciate yeah. it. Round two. <laughs> this is our garden, Mela, little Mela, but one. <laughs> we love dogs. This is our new accommodation. So Demetrius has very kindly brought us to another one of his apartments. Apparently, there's someone moving in here tomorrow at midday if they manage to get to the island. At the moment it does appear we've got Wi-Fi here. Um, the, one of the lights in the bathroom is working. 
<laughs> but working. the other lights are semi working, i.e. you switch them and they come on very dim. Um, Kirsty's noticed that the floor is also wet here, so I don't really understand where that water is coming from unless it is just from us arriving. <laughs> where are we now? So it's 6pm, yeah. it started just after midday yesterday. I mean it was raining before then but the wind started to pick up so more than 24 hours now. It's a lot more sheltered here than where we were before yeah. over by the airport that's on the southwest of the island. Way it's more protected here. A lot calmer here. Yeah I'm gonna sleep better here. Yeah <laughs> for sure. See what we're gonna do for dinner. I don't know if we can cook anything. Yeah, it might just be another bowl anything. of cereal for dinner. Unfortunately. We've woken up and it's 9.50 on the 19th of September, um, it's Saturday and after storm Ionis was blowing and terrorising us, terrorizing <laughs> us for yeah since Thursday afternoon so a good between 36 and 48 hours at about 8 o'clock last night things calmed down um, after our host moved us from um, our accommodation to here in Argos Dolly. Which has electricity and we can shower. Yeah, <laughs> so, so nice. we feel clean, we've got Wi-Fi and here, it's fantastic. Dinner. And now Back there's the actually been sunshine. Yeah. Today we're looking forward to, we've got to go and pick up our car, we've got to go and check our accommodation and see the situation there because it was pretty leaky when we left it. And we do have things back at the other apartment that we need, we left in <laughs> quite a rush. It's a little bit hectic but so, yeah, at least the storm's over. That's, that's the current thing. situation and just hopefully we can get our car because yeah. we've used up all our food in the last couple of days that yeah. we can get anything and get anywhere so it'd be good just to get settled and just want our car so we can go to a shop and yeah, sort ourselves get out. Get some food and just get on with some stuff because we've got loads to do. Yeah we came here and, for a break uh, and so far it's not really been a break it's been pretty hectic. It's going to go and have a look outside for the first time since arriving. At last, <laughs> the sunshine after the rain. Although look at the some of the damage you can see just here. When we were driving yesterday there were loads of trees everywhere, much bigger trees than that, uprooted trees and things. Apparently there was quite a few um, boats as well that were somewhat cast adrift. Time for us to move to our third accommodation in three days. We're going to move around the corner because it's not safe to move back into our former apartment because it's just all flooded and there's still no water, running water and electricity there so we can't go back there. But this apartment is let already so we've got to leave here, go to another apartment and then eventually we'll move back to our original apartment I guess. We hope so because that's near to where we've hired a car from so we need to get back over that way so we can actually pick up our hire car if and when the office is open there, we don't know. Okay. Moving again. I'll come back. Just round the corner this time. Yeah, just round the corner. Yeah. One foot. <laughs> We've just moved to a new apartment. It's literally just the other side of this building. It's really, really nice actually. It's got a lot of nice features, TV, big fridge big table to work at, it's got a washing machine which we're hoping to use at some point but at the moment because of the power issues it's best not to use the washing machine at the moment. Although we really Wardrobe. really need to. <laughs> we really need to do some washing, we really we're really want to. We were about to put a wash on and then um, Demetrius, the owner of this place, came over and said just to let you know don't use the washing machine yet because one of the neighbours tried to use it and it stopped halfway through because the power cut out. In this apartment some of the lights work and some of them don't so I can get this main light on in here but the bathroom light doesn't work so we can tell that yeah. power's not quite. We've got a right. weak internet <laughs> connection but it works so we've got a beautiful view though across yeah, well, Argos Dolly and the bay and the other side kitchen down here with an oven sink utilities and the rest of it and the bathrooms in there it's got a nice rainfall shower as well our little terrace table with a couple of chairs and there's fruit growing here as well so we've seen grapes there is what looks like a very young melon there and look at the view Beautiful. This is all Argos Dolly down here. And just to give you an update, so right now it is 12.37 on Saturday the 19th of September. It was sat right here 
for the best part of two days and we were based on that southwest corner of Kefalonia. But the winds initially were coming from the east, coming from this direction, and then the next morning at 7 a.m. the winds were coming from this direction. So it obviously moved. But the current situation is it's a lot calmer. The storm has moved down here to the south, um, just off the south coast of mainland Greece here. You can see the storm has decreased in power a lot. I've just searched news results for Storm Yanos and the BBC News are reporting. Their headline is Medicaid Storm Yanos Lashes Western Greece. The New York Times have written Cyclone Yanos, a rare Medicaid Mediterranean hurricane, batters Ionian islands of Greece. Medicaid is pushing to the east. It has its eyes set on Greece and it's giving Greece their highest severe level threat possible. Now, this is because wind gusts in excess of 120 kilometers per hour and it's also leading to some very heavy rainfall. And you know how easily Greece can flood. Now, Greece could pick up in some spots upwards of 250 to 500 millimeters of rainfall just in the, in the next 24 to 48 hours. And so we have this apartment until Monday and we're trying to sort out our hire car to get that. I think we can get that from tomorrow, but on Monday we should be going back to our normal apartment um, because there's people moving into this apartment on Monday. <laughs> it's like musical chairs. It's four o'clock in the afternoon here in Argostoli <laughs> and we are wandering down from our apartment which is up on the hillside um, down to the water's edge. We've eaten a lot um, of cereal. Whilst yesterday we had trapped. cereal for breakfast, lunch and dinner. <laughs> so we are pretty hungry and looking forward to having something slightly different to eat. There's debris on the floor um, from the trees and bushes and things. I think a lot of the locals have done a really good job of clearing up because Demetrius, our host, has already hacked down a tree and cut it up and removed Tied it. it away. Uh, one that was snapped and fallen on the floor. So we're walking to the shop to get some supplies and see what's happened down at the harbour because we heard a few yachts have been cast adrift. But we've got to walk to the shops because we still can't get a hold of our hire car company because that section of the island where we were staying in our original apartment still doesn't have any power. So their phone lines are still down and they don't, we don't have an email for them. We can't get in touch with them. But I've just stopped it. here because you can see wow. all the debris all over the road there. The aftermath. And the also hurricane. just in front of us. I mean, there's a small, uh, what looks like tomato plant or something, snapped down. Destroyed. This tree, tree has fallen down. Oh, all these trees are way. destroyed. That one's snapped. This one's been blown over. blown over. The main high street in Argostoli. Everything looks relatively normal here. A little bit quiet. I think everyone is just busy sorting out their lives again after the last couple of days and fixing everything of theirs that's been blown to pieces and destroyed and yeah. probably in Zakynthos as well because it's not just this island that Ionis hugged itself to for two days. So down here at the harbour side on the seafront, uh, just here at the express market we're going to pop into, still a bit drafty. There's not loads of people down here, but it seems mainly back to normal. There's quite a lot of debris, rubbish and plastic in the water, unfortunately. Everything seems relatively okay. It just looks a bit windswept. Join us next time when the sun finally comes out, we get our hire car at last and move back into our original apartment, ready to explore the beautiful island of Kefalonia. I'd love to tell you that's where the craziness ends, but the weather still had one more surprise in store for us. If you can't wait that long, head over to our Instagram at TideNotTravelers for daily updates on what we're currently up to and what's coming up in our future videos.
said, this is my first ever Medicaid. I was like, your, your first ever what? Yeah, I was like, I didn't <laughs> understand it. This is our first, first ever but... Medicaid as well. <laughs> I thought it was like a Greek word that I didn't understand. I and just didn't quite catch what like, he said. Yeah, he's like, Medicaid. And I was like, it must be a Greek word, I don't know. He's like, no, Mediterranean hurricane. I was like, I see what you did there. Because we didn't have the news, we haven't seen all of this. <laughs> Friday afternoon. Um, last night at about 8pm. No, this is Thursday afternoon. Thursday afternoon, because then we had it all, Thursday, all day Friday, and Sorry, then yeah. Saturday. Still no, <laughs> well, apparently some were, some were cast adrift. Yeah, that's the one, cast adrift. <laughs>